Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and brought Mr. Red White to the stand and we've pointed out some pretty obvious contradictions. And in this episode, after like 20 minutes of trying to get my microphone to work, we're actually going to finally try to cross-examine him and see if we could put him behind bars. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single blow. Whap! Hmm. The whap indeed. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. So as normal, we're just going to press everything. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that? Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix! Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, very odd. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Huh? W what? You're saying you saw that glass light stand? Y yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. Sorry if the voices are a bit weird because the last two videos, those were pre-recorded like last month. And this is my first video actually back recorded. Light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. The glass stand was lying on the floor? That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about this, the stand before? Why? Me? Well, I was instructed not to. Wait! One moment. Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I am so, so confused. White's falling apart. Your Honor, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. And with some ropes. Very well, the witness may continue his account. Then the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Miss Mia? Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? No, no, no. Triple no. How would I? How what how could I? I see nothing odd about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Mr. Wright, I will not have you hurt. Carrying the witness. Is that even a word? You're looking a little flustered, Edgeworth. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Now, before, you said that she was hit before she ran. Y yes I must have been confused. But don't worry, we all know what happened now. You turned and ran for the door. What did you do then? I gave chase, of course. Uh, no, no, not me, the, the killer. I mean, he gave chase. Mr. White, please try to remain calm. Mr. Wright here is only trying to fluster you with baseless accusations. Uh, oh, right. Th thank you, Miles. Then you did her in with a single blow. Thwap! Whap. That doesn't sound like the savage attack from your earlier testimony. Oh, 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 yes, well, I'm a man of peace, you see. Phoenix, he's getting a lot of less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll catch him on something, but it won't be easy. So, he sa says right here, uh, light stand was lying on the floor when I looked, but if we look at this, the light stand wasn't lying on the floor like in one piece, it was shattered into glass pieces. So how would he know what it was? Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. 
What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea it was a light stand. So tell me, exactly when was it that you saw the stand? Answer the question. It isn't it obvious I saw the stand before it fell over? So you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then? C correct! That would be no problemo, right? Huh. There's a big problemo, or, I mean, problem here. What problem is this? Mr. White, let me make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel before the incident occurred. Correct, that is so. It's conclusive, definitive, undeniable, unimpeachable. No, it's impossible. You couldn't have seen the stand. What? Why couldn't he? You have proof? I sure do, Your Honor. The person in the hotel could not have seen the stand before it fell over. Because the floor plans clearly show his line of view, and where the glass light stand was is not in that line of view. Look at this. These are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White? What do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, ridiculousity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell, and the only place you could have seen that from is inside the famed co -lofts. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. I, I, Miss Mia. <sighs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. What? Ugh, I forgot about Edward. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April, made a tap through law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do? Your Honor, the question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered the Miss Fay's offices. Am I correct? C correct You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Finkel offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He, he has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like to have would like you to believe Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White had been to that office well before the murder took place. He went to the he went to place the wiretap. 
You could have seen the glass light stand to that. Ergo, Mr. Wright's theories were revealed for the baseless conjecture it is. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretap. Ahem, leave it to me. I... I feel faint. The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Finkel Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So, you saw the stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over. By the sound? Correct! That is right. I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine. Gah! What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Yeah, we don't really have anything to go off of. Do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh. Right. I had entered the Banco Law Offices. Was it really you that went to the office, or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Banco Law Offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fane Co. Law Office. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Why did you tap me as phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a predacious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. I'm afraid that that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. The time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought, honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Y yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. M Mia! Where... Where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was... Hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. Gah! Hey, Phoenix. Gah? That's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Y you're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fae Woman have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough to shock uh, enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya is channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I am also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up, and you can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But but we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh, yeah, the one you wrote Maya on? Phoenix, 
White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? Regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. One thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item, glass light stand. Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th! That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. September 9th, 1.16 p.m. District Court, courtroom number one. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant, rather, are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there is nothing to go back to. Cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Uh. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an op opinion on this matter? I say, give a... Let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. So now we know exactly what to do. Beginning of September, the week before the murder. Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Wah! You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, the last light stand. And the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder. You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered the Fane Co. Law offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. Uh-oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh. What? No way he can worm his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just keeps making up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a date to ascertain whether your claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm, I see. Objection denied. What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. 
Edgeworth is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Gah. The witness will stay. Mia. Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is writing on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! P please stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White. Admit your guilt right here, right now, or else this list will be released to the press. Case closed, Your Honor. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem, rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. That is all. The court is adjourned. September 9th, 2.24 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again, but congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fag. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You rest a lot to help me, and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My time here's running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still there's still so much to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight, say nine o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief, Mia. September 9th, 9.02 p.m. Fan Co. Offices. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came. Mia, I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? What? <laughs> you should see the look on your face. Mia! What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Maya? What, did I look like I, my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no, on second of thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name, Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. You know what a desk means? We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it's, it is Maya's fault I'm here now, but if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in Cole offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya.
Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy, burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a-wasting. Uh, okay, wait up. 